Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dang It's Kayla. Um, I'm Kayla. I just am going through a little sickness, and my voice has gotten a little bit deeper, but don't worry, I will get better soon. Now, this week in my journal, I am deciding to do environmental friendly stuff, which is why I'm writing green, green, in green. Um, you can see I'm moving my hand just gently on the page. I am writing the word mind. Ooh. So we are doing green mind, green life this week. You can even see this is highlighted more by the green tabs I have in my journal and the green plants. I have a little guy on the side. He's in a terracotta pot, I think. I don't really know, but he's very tiny. It's very adorable. Ooh, looks like I'm drawing some plants now. I'm not quite sure what plants these are, I just found them online and thought, hey, these are kind of cute. So I'm now drawing them. Additionally, I am whisper talking, like I said, I'm sick, but also NPR said this was the most efficient way to do it. Oh, sorry, I I'm also gluing something now. Uh, it is cardboard, yes it is cardboard, to symbolize recycling. Yes, it is in fact what I am doing. Um, you can see now I am using a pen to uh, darken the lines so that it's easier to see what I've sketched out. It's a, uh, quite a while, and it appears I've missed a couple of the major lines. That was intentional, I assure you, as I am now darkening them in to get rid of those. Oh wait, no, the lines are still out, but it gives a nice shadow effect if you really look hard enough. Um, appears that they're is a small dot in the end. I assure you that was intentional because the leaf is growing through the green word. Um, and now I am drawing some other leaves and branches on the cardboard to symbolize that good things grow from recycled materials, which is why you should recycle, recycle, recycle. This is a very interesting design, and I don't remember where I picked it up, but I thought it was really, really cool. And it even looks cooler with this uh, white pen that I have here. Oh god, my leg is very, very tired. Uh, I might have to switch it up soon. But anyway, well, speaking of switching up, we're moving now to the right page. And yes, this is for July. It's a bit confusing because we're still in June, but, you know, July is around the corner and we gotta start preparing now. Damn it, I messed up that line. Doesn't matter. It's okay. It's okay. I will fix it. Look at that. July 2020. It looks very pretty. Very, very nice. Now, here I am making uh, my... Uh, the list of days for the week. I like to do that a whole lot. Oh, wait. I'm going back. Checking. All right. Yep. I have the correct numbers of days. I think I have them all. Yes, I do. Wait, hold on. I need to check. Yep, I do. And uh, now what I like to do is draw the numbers beside them so that I know which is which. It looks like I've drawn number two twice, but it's actually one, two, three. Just wanted to clarify that as I have listed out all days of the month. And that, yes, now I am drawing some lines to do another box into which to plan my days on. Look at that. Symmetric, beautiful, artistic. Um, you see now I've taken out another pen to which I am sketching out another things that I like to do to feel more adult is financial responsibility and yes, sustainability. Financial responsibility, sustainability, and environmentally conscious. It's something that I try very hard to work at and keep as a constant reminder oh that line's not exactly but it's fine nature is not perfect that's what makes it beautiful much like this journal uh now i am writing sustainable so that i really really remember to be sustainable i'm drawing another set of lines uh, don't worry about making them fabric squares or rectangles it doesn't really matter, just so that you can remember certain things during the month, because this month's theme is Green Mind, Green Life. Uh, you cannot do all the good 
that the world needs. Uh, for a second I thought it said weeds. I, I forget occasionally when I write, but uh, yeah. But the world needs all the... Yeah, cursive is nice to switch up. That way it, it's eye-catching and such. Uh, uh, good that you can do. Yes. Oh, there's a little thing. Uh, yes, this is a quote from Shelby. Shelby is a dear friend of mine. We've known each other for years. He is a phenomenal friend, and you should go support him on his channel. Oh, here I am writing with the, the white pen in the green rectangles, uh, the events, my goals, uh, the world of July. Oh, sorry, word of July. I misspoke there. Uh, and then the quote of July. That is why I've written these things in this fashion, and that is why I have made the box as such. Oh, I'm erasing a couple things here to get rid of the extra lines I forgot about. Forgot about those earlier. <laughs> Alright, they're, they're all good. Alright, I am now gluing more cardboard into my re completely recyclable journal. Yes, that is true, ladies and gentlemen. It is completely 100% recyclable. You can tell because there are green tabs on the sides that say, yes, I am recyclable. Now I am writing the daily logs in July. Um, look, there's another branch with some leaves there. Um, I am filling those in as well and coloring all of those in. And look at that little plant on the side. Still very cute. I'm not quite sure what plant that is, but it is. Ooh, there are more pieces of cardboard. They are being held there for a moment. Yep, just a couple more moments. Just being pieces of cardboard. Great job, guys. Great job. Just have some things lying around. It appears that I'm drawing a small mini calendar. It's very adorable. It's very cute. And I really like the way they look. Oh, now I'm gluing the cardboard above the calendar. Around the calendar. I, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I misspoke. Around the calendar. And um, I'm sketching out another little something on the side. You know, I just really like to draw me. Like what I like to draw. And, um, oh, there's another line. There's another line. And there is another square. Another little calendar for the week. Um, this is kind of for my uh, weekly setup view. In the way that each... Um, little cardboard square is kind of focusing on a certain part. Look, there's another cute little calendar. Uh, this was particularly challenging without a ruler, but uh, I think I did a good enough job in terms of getting all the lines, mapping them down. Oh, there's another piece of cardboard. I am moving that as well so that I know where all of my little calendars are. Um, yes. Oh, I messed up there a little bit. Oops. Yeah, I forgot about the lines. I sometimes forget how many days in the month there are. Uh, hashtag happens all the time uh, but um, yeah now I'm gluing them to the top just over the calendars uh, I'm writing again uh, July so that I really remember that this is July Ooh, I well, habits yes these are habits that you should have or at least I want to have during July uh, small acts that's a very big one huh. contrast you know um, uh, there's, I think this is another part of a quote that I'm writing. I'm not quite sure at the moment. Uh, oh, small acts, um, when multiplied by millions of people, uh, hold on, I need my hand to move for a second, can transform, yes, that is right, it can transform the world. I don't know where I got those words from, but I like it. Wake up at 7 a.m. is a good thing to do, even though we're in quarantine and really there's no need for time anymore, but uh, wake up by 7 a.m. is a good one. Ooh, sleep by 11 p.m. That's a really, really big one. Usually I stay up to like 2 or 3 in the morning. Oh, be in nature for 30 minutes. The whole month, just the whole month, just be outside for 30 minutes. No more, no less. Ooh, drink uh, some water. I don't know how many ounces. 50 ounces the whole month. Can't drink any more, can't drink any less, just 50 ounces of water. No more notes. Oh, and we're back. We just teleported magically back to the... Oh, and now we're going to daily logs. So, oh, and there's July habits. 